When a crocodile is hungry, it's one of the most dangerous creatures on earth. But there is not only one type of crocodile. There's different types of crocodiles that live in different types of waters. But we have to know that saltwater crocodiles are not only giant, but they are the scariest ones as well. Scientists believe that this type of crocodile hasn't evolved for millions of years. If you go back millions of years, the saltwater crocodile is probably going to be the same. It's good to know that this is the biggest reptile of them all. It could be as long as 7 meters and it could weigh more than 1 ton. We could say wherever this thing lives, nobody dares to attack it. And you could say the saltwater crocodile has no fear and sees everything else as food. Do you want something more dangerous than shark and water? The saltwater crocodile has defeated sharks before. The unique thing about the saltwater crocodile is that it sees human as food, not danger. And it's good to know other powerful animals sees humans as a threat rather than food. And if they want to attack, they will. You could say this crocodile doesn't really like to move around for food and it's considered an opportunist. It camps somewhere and waits for the prey to show up. We like talking about crocodiles so much we forgot about the main point of the video. But this video, this guy plays an important role because we want to talk about the Romri Islands Massacre, an island that's located right here. This island is located right next to Myanmar and during World War II, this place was called Burma and it was in the hands of the Japanese army and it's in the middle of the war. The year is 1945 and the Allies want to take over this island. There was a lot of Japanese soldiers on this island and anything that was edible, these guys would eat it. It's also good to note that this island is filled with saltwater crocodiles and the Japanese soldiers are eating all their food. The UK was one of the allies and their plan was to take over the island. The plan was to attack the island from far away in the water with a destroyer so the Japanese would fall back and the attack by the British did exactly that. The Japanese fell back and the soldiers are going where the crocodiles escape and they escape to find more food because the Japanese were eating them all. After they saw the Japanese fall back, the British went on to land. When we say British, we really mean Indians because the Indian army fought for the British army in World War II. Either way, the Japanese went farther and farther back into the island. And you could say the Japanese occupying their land again got the crocodiles even more angry. From the other side of the island, the Japanese got to their navy ships and ran away. And from the other side, the British army was moving forward. One of the Japanese commanders decided to go through a swamp and run away. A swamp that was 10 kilometers across. This genius of a commander took 900 of his soldiers through the swamp. I don't know what this guy was thinking. The crocodiles don't matter. This swamp is filled with venomous snakes and different disease carrying mosquitoes. And next to all of this danger, there is a lot of saltwater crocodiles that are extremely hungry. Like we said, these crocodiles are opportunists. They see the soldiers enter the swamp and that is why they don't move. 
Just like we said, they camp until the food gets to them. And they were getting happy because 900 hamburgers are just walking across the swamp. These crocodiles attack the soldiers one by one. That deserves its own fill. Without a noise, they camp next to the swamp and all of a sudden attack the soldiers one by one. And most of the time, the soldier would drown before it got torn up. The Japanese army realized that these crocodiles aren't to be messed with and they get extremely scared and start screaming and yelling. And when the crocodiles hear all that commotion, they get even more angry. All that screaming turned these crocodiles into demons because they were already angry at these soldiers for stealing their food. And that caused a chain reaction. And you could say they attacked the soldiers together. Some people might ask, why didn't they just shoot the crocodile? But you have to know that this swamp is not an ordinary swamp. It's like a rainforest jungle and there's a swamp in the middle. And the crocodiles cannot be seen easily. These soldiers couldn't go back or move forward. They couldn't run out of the swamp and they still couldn't continue forward. These guys walked in 10 kilometers of swamp for three days. Some of them reached the other side, but most of them become food for the crocodiles. To this day, the Japanese didn't report how many people died in this swamp, but they say only 300 people escaped to the other side. So 600 people were eaten. You could say that commander became the crocodile's food too, because if he stayed alive, the Japanese themselves would probably execute them because of the decision. It's also good to know that the 300 people that were able to escape were the last Japanese to escape this island because the other soldiers had already escaped days before. The commander wanted to choose a shortcut, but it was a shortcut to death. 